stood by the water's side. Let my people go. Had God's command, it did divide. everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Monday the 5th of July. We're thinking this week about the call of Moses and as always we begin with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. God of all, you see us as we are, not as we pretend to be. You see not just our words and deeds but also the thoughts of our hearts our motivation deep within. For you know us better than we know ourselves. And yet time and again, we forget that and we act with no thought of you. Our words and our deeds denying the faith we proclaim. Forgive us, we pray, and help us to live each moment conscious of your presence and seeking to honour your name living in such a way that we are happy for nothing to be hidden from your gaze. Amen. Exodus chapter 1 These are the names of the sons of Israel who went to Egypt with Jacob, each with his family. Reuben, Simeon, Levi and Judah, Issachar, Zebulun and Benjamin. Dan and Naphtali, Gad and Asher. The descendants of Jacob numbered seventy in all. Joseph was already in Egypt. Now Joseph and all his brothers and all that generation died. But the Israelites were exceedingly fruitful. They multiplied greatly, increased in numbers and became so numerous that the land was filled with them. Then a new king, to whom Joseph meant nothing, came to power in Egypt. Look, he said to his people, the Israelites have become far too numerous for us. Come, we must deal shrewdly with them, or they will become even more numerous, and if war breaks out, will join our enemies, fight against us, and leave the country. So they put slave masters over them to oppress them with forced labor and they built Python and Ramesses as store cities for Pharaoh. But the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread. So the Egyptians came to dread the Israelites and worked them ruthlessly. They made their lives bitter with harsh labor in brick and mortar and with all kinds of work in the fields. In all their harsh labor, the Egyptians worked them ruthlessly. The king of Egypt said to the Hebrew midwives, whose names were Shifra and Pua, When you are helping the Hebrew women during childbirth on the delivery stool, if you see that the baby is a boy, kill him. 
but if it is a girl, let her live. The midwives, however, feared God and did not do what the king of Egypt had told them to do. They let the boys live. Then the king of Egypt summoned the midwives and asked them, Why have you done this? Why have you let the boys live? The midwives answered Pharaoh, Hebrew women are not like Egyptian women. They are vigorous and give birth before the midwives arrive. So God was kind to the midwives, and the people increased and became even more numerous. And because the midwives feared God, he gave them families of their own. Then Pharaoh gave this order to all his people. Every Hebrew boy that is born, you must throw into the Nile, but let every girl live.
Psalm 11 In the Lord I take refuge. How then can you say to me, Flee like a bird to your mountain, for look, the wicked bend their bows. They set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows at the upright in heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord is on his heavenly throne. He observes everyone on earth. His eyes examine them. The Lord examines the righteous. But the wicked, those who love violence, he hates with a passion. On the wicked he will rain fiery coals and burning sulfur. A scorching wind will be their lot. For the Lord is righteous. He loves justice. The upright will see his face. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Loving God, we like to imagine that our commitment is as vibrant as it always has been. But we know that in reality it is not. We like to think that when you call, we are swift to hear and eager to answer. But the truth is rather different. Our discipleship is constantly under attack, not just from temptation, but equally from lethargy and complacency. Rouse us up to your wake-up call, your summons to faith. Speak your words and help us to respond in repentance, in commitment and in service. Resolved to serve you more faithfully each and every day. Amen.